Justin Sane, 19, I play guitar and sing. I'm Chris Head, I'm 19, and I play guitar. Pat Vedic, I play drums, I'm 19. My parents were both really, really socially active. It focuses around helping people in need, um, fighting for people who can't fight for themselves. My parents, as a result, got involved in the civil rights struggle. They got involved in the environmental struggle. They got involved um, you know, in anti-war issues. Um, and that, that probably had the biggest impact on me growing up. More than anything, I, I guess as a teenager, I was impacted by the first Gulf War, where a bunch of poor kids, a couple years older than me, who were in the military, being flown over to Iraq to fight and kill and possibly die. The main focus for me when I wanted to start a band was to start an anti-war band and point out the fact that um, Poor people fight in armies so that rich people can stay in power and uh, so that rich people can grow even richer. My heart and say a fucking prayer. Ecstasy tears. Bravery fears. This boat may float. Ich sehe, Anti Flag kommen gleich auf die Bühne. Ähm, vielleicht können wir sie mit so ein bisschen äh, politischem Applaus begrüßen. Zum Beispiel mit Kein Mensch ist illegal, bleibe recht überall. Kein Mensch ist illegal, bleibe recht überall. shows all the time and we meet amazing people all the time who give a fuck about more than just themselves and so we're constantly being lifted up higher and higher by hope and by humanity and uh, a belief that um, something better can come out of this world.
fortunate position with what we do with um, our art and our music and the politics that we discuss uh, via the band that um, more times than not we get reaffirmed that we're on the right path and that we're on the right side of history so um, it's definitely a um, outside of the walls of the show and places like this it's going to be a scary time but you know we that's why we shouldn't take these moments for granted. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that there's going to be a portion of it that gets it, um, but then I also think that we have a responsibility to tell that guy who's buying nachos over in the corner that we're a band that stands against racism and sexism and homophobia and we're going to um, be really loud and we're going to do our best to try to show people that uh, Antifag as a band has a different thumbprint from a lot of the music that they'll see at a festival like this. We live in a fabled world called Brockland and Killing Field The fascist profits are alive Are you ready? Right to break you! talking about the differences between the beginning of the band in the 90s and uh, where we are now and just music in general I, I think that technology has really leveled the playing field so you when we released a record in uh, 96 and the way you got it out was you went on tour and you you know shared it with people and that's the only way they would have access to your to your record I mean record stores weren't caring punk rock like us uh, um, there was no internet to share songs immediately over your email and things like that so um, I think that, that that's a huge difference today uh, is that just people have access to it everywhere well yeah and it's uh, people make less money off of music right now for sure but people have much more access to music now than they ever had so if a band's goal is for people to hear your music 2015 is much better than uh, 1996 for sure. The, the introduction of economics uh, into art is always very dangerous and um, it's one that we try to navigate um, as efficiently as possible but there's pitfalls and there's evils to it every step of the way so um, the things that we try to concern ourselves with are the economy that we build around the band and we try to make sure that it is the most humane one possible and that the people that work for us get paid and treated well and the way our records and t-shirts and things like that are manufactured is uh, to the best of our capabilities and what's within our reach and our means so um, it's a it's a it's 
a frustrating thing to see art get monetized and uh, a dollar sign put on it or even to see it devalued the way uh, that it's become because people work very hard on these things and, and we feel people should be compensated for their work even if it is art you know so um, however that's done you know if you if you like a band if you like a record go and see a show that means more that personal interaction often means more than anything career with Anti-Flag is that we'll have people come to our shows and someone will come up to me and say, I saw you 10 years ago because of your band, I decided to become a social worker. To me, they're just living proof that um, music absolutely can have an impact in making a change. Yeah. It is an absolute and the privilege to share a room with people that have it in their heads and in their hearts. I know damn well that we're all here celebrating the fact that we found one another. In a time we're outside of these walls, there is seemingly endless hatred. Whether it's a refugee crisis, a crisis of empathy, a crisis of cynicism, but in here, we know it's a group of folks on the right side of history. Those of you who stand and fight racism, fight sexism, fighting homophobia and bigotry on a daily basis. They'll say things like, moments like this are preaching to the choir. Well, my friends, what a damn beautiful choir we have here in fucking Munich. This is a song about celebrating one another. The four motherfuckers on this stage from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania are now proud to call Munich a place we consider home. Let's get fucking dancing! Here we go! Stars of a train He used to struggle for a rain ideal Train and fight for control fever He's feeling the cannot be killed This voice is calling 